Peggy 3. one thing for a game producer to try and put into a game what they think is realistic. For us, that's not acceptable. We are going to use professional racing drivers to tell us, this is what it's like to drive a car. If they're not happy with it, we're going to make changes. We've had several racing drivers working on Shift to Unleashed. Tommy Milner has given a lot of feedback. Juan Gittin Jr. helped to shape the drifting experience. And Edward Sandstrom has been instrumental in setting up all the cars. Racing isn't sterile, it's gritty, it's violent, it's exhausting. We wanted to immerse players into that real environment. Team Need for Speed is a testing platform for us to understand what it's like to drive racing cars. Everything that we learn through operating the team is put back into the game. Nobody ever gets to experience my cars but me, and that's something that I've always wanted other people to get to experience. You know, it's kind of hard to just grab somebody and say, here, jump in this 1,400 horsepower all-wheel drive maniac machine. But something like this, you guys have actually captured what it's like, the sound, visual. You can see everything that's going on, seeing the fireballs come out of the exhaust in the hood. To me, it's amazing. We have the most advanced physics system ever released in a racing game. What we're doing this time is putting telemetry directly into the game. Here we've got the tire temperature and suspension information. The size of the circles indicates the amount of weight on each wheel. The color of circle indicates the amount of grip remaining. If I go over some grass here, you'll see that green square moving up and down. That's dynamic and real time. We're measuring this 360 times per second. The realism of the actual tracks, the, what we as drivers actually see, is the most amazing thing. Driving at night feels like you're going twice as fast. You lose almost all your references and you just sort of drive blind at that point. Shift 2 Unleashed has an incredible new view. It's called the Helmet Cam. Definitely realistic feature of the game. Um, and the biggest part of that, I think, is the head movement and the look to the apex, which if you look at helmet cam video, you'll see that it's the same motions. In drifting, we're actually looking out the side windows. So once the car gets sideways and you're turning, you move your head to see where you're going. It's very realistic, really puts you in the driver's seat. Your palms get sweaty and you feel adrenaline. That's very incredible for a game to accomplish.